Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, this is the Jenkins Documentation Office Hours for the 24th of August. Uh, we excuse Jonathan Moraes. He's got work that needs to keep him occupied in Brazil where he's based. We excuse Meg McRoberts. She's got other things going on that need to keep her una unavailable. Uh, great to have Marky Jackson here. We'll go ahead and let's look at the agenda. I'll start sharing my screen and off we go. Okay. So, uh, Marky, if there are any topics you want to add, I, I like to go through the topics on the agenda first, and then we'll actually start working through them. Yeah, no, I don't have anything to add other than maybe some pieces here. Okay. Or the so, Kubernetes. Great. So, first topic will be the Doc Sig meeting that's scheduled for this Friday. Second topic is actually going to be three topics. The Jenkins 2.249.1 release candidate that will be coming is expected out this Wednesday. Then we'll talk about the Jenkins 2.249.1 release that will come two weeks later. And then a proposal for Jenkins 2.249.1, uh, an online meetup to review its features. We did this kind of meetup for 2.235.1 and felt like this next release is large enough to justify doing it again. Uh, and doing it with the, the features for that release. Then terminology updates we should discuss and uh, look at progress and talk further. And then a brief mention of Jenkins Update Center improvements. Any other topics that you need to get on the agenda, Marky? No, sir. Okay, great. So let's start it then. And Okay, first, first is the Doc Sig meeting. So we'll be having the meeting this Friday. It's got a number of topics on the agenda, but the most crucial topic will be Zinab Abu Bakar, who will present her and discuss her plan for Jenkins on Kubernetes documentation. Uh, we think that she's got a great plan. Uh, it's really, really excellent work that she's done so far. We like the proposal. Uh, one of the crucial needs we have is we need more Kubernetes skilled users that can act as mentors for her. So Kristen Whetstone has agreed to mentor. Uh, she's got Kubernetes experience. I'll be a mentor, but I have very little experience. We're looking for others. Marky, any chance? Yes, oh, please good. definitely Excellent. count me in. I've got great. a great deal of knowledge when it comes to Kubernetes. Excellent, thank you. Very good. Okay, so we will look forward to that. I will review that. Uh, I'll review the uh, Jenkins on Kubernetes doc, and uh, I'll be ready to be able to provide any feedback on that. Super. In particular, one of the things that that is most of interest is what's what's an effective way to structure the material so that people will understand what they're how to get there, etc. And with your experience. I would, particularly with your experience on the Kubernetes project, I think you may have some good insights on, oh, we should introduce this way and then this way and then this way. She's open, I believe, to refining and revising her plan uh, based on feedback and input. So the plan is here linked from this document. And uh, we had a startup meeting that's also linked here that includes a number of action items for me, for instance, to announce her selection as the as the writer. Oops. Okay. Do I need to get access as a mentor to the Google Summer of Docs? Oh, ooh, ooh, good point. Yeah, let's put that on. Yes. Um, yes, absolutely. If we if you don't do that, I'm sure there will be some. Okay, so Marky. Uh, and you can so, also add me as an org admin too. I think. We had talked about it with Oleg back Good. a few okay. months ago. Excellent. All right. And you may actually already be an org admin. I, I know that you were listed as an org admin. Uh, I'm going to just double check right now. I think I may still be. Excellent. Okay, so I got that action item assigned to you. To request to be a, a mentor. Okay, 
and review all all of us get the action to review the plan for Friday and be prepared to discuss one of the things that we're going to need to find is uh, need times to meet twice per week that fits with her schedule. I will reach out to her and uh, as a mentor, I'll reach out to her and see what she'd like to set up and I'll get that set up by Friday. I'll have an update for you on that. Okay. And, and no, no crisis there. We're in community bonding right now. And community bonding is a time when we know that it's, it's not expected that she's working the 20 to 30 hours a week during community bonding. This is just get things prepared. But Oleg's, Oleg's observation, I'm sure you saw in Google Summer of Code, is that most projects that fail, fail already in community bonding. And that's the most visible problem. So, so we want to be successful in community bonding to assure that the project itself will be successful. Agreed. Great, thank you. I do not see that I have access at all. Okay, so then, then that's that's a, a good now's a good time for us to get the request in to have you be a mentor and an org admin. So that's great. Um, you want to send that request? I think the way that works is that goes to Oleg. So if you just send the request to Oleg. Yeah. saying, hey, could I be added as an org admin? That that gives us, that, then we've got three three org admins available so that if one of us is gone, the other one of the other two can help. All right. Any other questions or concerns on the Docs SIG meeting topic for Google Season of Docs? Nothing for me. Okay. So upcoming, uh, we've got we've got Jenkins 2.249.1. Uh, it's the next LTS, and it will be coming. The release candidate is scheduled to come out this Wednesday. Uh, as soon as the release candidate comes out, I'll start work on the change log. And that change log, because it's a dot one release, will combine uh, the changes from 2.235 and um, the backports to 2.249.1. So it's, it takes more work. It will need review. Uh, by docs team member, by docs SIG members. It will need uh, testing and assessment to be sure that it's well described. And then for LTS is we provide an upgrade guide. And the upgrade guide in this case is crucial because this is the first LTS where we're going to drop support for the ancient Microsoft.NET version that we used for service management previously. Uh, we're now going to use Microsoft.NET 4. And and drop support for .NET 2. We've got two. Two issues that have been flagged. And We've got to give descriptions of how to work around those issues or uh, avoid them. So that's, and again, this will need review, testing, and assessment. Last time we did an LTS, Vlad Silverman was a great help on assessing the, uh, the Windows changes in 2.235.3, and I hope to enlist his help again on this one. Um, any questions there? None from me. Okay, so in addition, feature-wise, this release will include the next step in the user interface improvements. 
the next step is further refinements to improve, improve the look and the feel, keep things consistent, better color management, etc. cetera. Uh, it's also prep work for the tables to divs transition. That is coming, is expected in the December LPS. So that prep work is getting all of us ready so that our plugins can be adapted to no longer use tables for layouts. Instead of using tables, which don't work very well on narrow devices, we're, uh, we're switching to use divs. And uh, the, the work has been major. This is an 18, uh, 12 to 18 month pull request that is now coming to conclusion. And it, it is much better than the old way, it, but it naturally it changes an awful lot. Okay, any questions on the release candidate? No, sir. Okay. Formatting documents is pathetic. Okay, good, I got it right. All right, so then the release two weeks after the release candidate, um, see the uh, RC for details. Right? So we will do an actual release September 9th with all the capabilities. Um, I guess the other piece we should highlight here is testing is encouraged. Welcome and uh, needed. And expected. Right, right, there we go. Yeah, super. Okay, next piece, and this one's one, Marky, where you may be able to assist. Uh, we've got an online meetup that I've proposed. Uh, I've started a draft, haven't yet submitted it to the advocacy and outreach uh, mailing list, but I've proposed to host an online meetup describing the UI improvements, talking through Windows upgrade, and then also the looking forward to the next LTS to alert people that tables to divs is coming. Um, you can, this hyperlink will take you there to see it. Uh, it's, it's still in the rough draft stage. I, let me put myself an action item to Mark to submit the proposal this week to advocacy and outreach um, so that we can get it on the calendar. Uh, right now, it's not yet calendared and therefore no commitment that it'll happen. So. So that, that release is going September 9th. Right. So maybe we could do a meetup next week at some point if that works. Well, uh, Oleg and I have discussed this and his suggestion was wait till after the release to give uh, us a, a day or two of getting the feedback from people so that if there's something we need to desperately tell them, we could do it in the meeting. So the thought was, make it the 11th rather than the, uh, the you know, 10th or the 11th so that it's actually after the release. I think that's a good idea. I okay. think it's a very good idea. And right now there's the only thing that's on the calendar for that day is, is the pipeline authoring SIG meeting and that's at 9 a.m. Oh, good, okay, all right. Excellent, thanks. All right. Anything else with regard to the online meetup? Nope. Okay, next topic then, terminology updates. So the terminology um, terminology vote for the, the replacement term for the word master has completed. The new term is controller. And Alex Earl sent out the, the announcement of that. We've had our first pull request merged 
which makes a change. It, what it did was it converted all the security advisors to use the correct new terminology. We need a lot more pull requests for Jenkins.io and we'll need text changes also in Jenkins core. I was just looking at Jenkins core today and saw as an example, the word blacklist. And that's one that we've got an agreed use a different context to use a, use a better word than blacklist. So deny list or an even better term if one is available for the context. So we got a bunch of pull requests to make there. Okay. I can start taking some action items to go through Jenkins.io and oh, great. do sort of a master PR, uh, excuse me, a large PR. That would be, that would be wonderful. In particular, the docs, I think we're even, we're even allowing that we'll change blog posts. So, but the docs for sure, we would like okay. to make that change. I can, I, I did the, I did the blog post for our previous terminology change. So I'm pretty familiar with how to do it. So I'll do the blog post. I can have that done probably by the end of this weekend. Oh, that would be great. Excellent. Thank you. All right. And then anything else on terminology updates? No, just other than super proud of this work. It's definitely very needed and super proud of it. Yeah, delighted, delighted with the results and I'm really glad. That's great. So last item, and this is more informational for folks who are working on docs. The Jenkins Update Center for the last 15 years has delivered its data over HTTP. And uh, we're now upgrading it. Daniel Beck and Tim Jacom have, have made the changes that finish the work that uh, Olivier Vernin started to get us from HTTP to HTTPS and still using mirrors. So as far as I can tell, Jenkins itself is already adapted and everything's using HTTPS and the plugin, plugin delivery mechanisms are in progress and Daniel and Tim seem to indicate that today that things look pretty good. It may even already be done. Those are all the topics I had. Marky, anything else? Uh, I do not have anything else other than to say it's good to be back. Great. Thanks for your help. Much appreciated. Looking forward to working together. You're going to enjoy it a bunch. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's call an end to the session then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are so welcome. Would you like me to do the uh, the publishing to YouTube or did you want to take care of that? Uh, I, I'm not sure where I did the recording, so I may have to. Okay, if you didn't record it to the